What's up guys and welcome back to another Diablo 3 starter guide. This one's going to be for the Barbarian and we're going to be looking at doing a whirlwind build with nothing but rares, right? That's the whole point of this video is we're going to simulate you having the worst luck, hitting 70, no legendaries, even my Paragon emptied all out, nothing in there. And the cube, we have useless things like Puzzle Ring and Butcher's Cleaver, nothing that remotely helps whirlwind at all. Some important things to know about the gear here. You want lightning percent damage on your bracers. You want to try to get life per fury spent on your weapons. And then look to stack crit chance, crit damage anywhere you can. And you should be good to go. So let's go through the skills really quick. You're going to use ground stomp with wrenching smash. Bring everybody in so you can whirlwind them down. Whirlwind with wind shear. You know, that should go to rune for that. Battle Rage with Bloodshed, Rend with Lacerate, Threatening Shout with Falter, Wrath of the Berserker with Insanity. For your passives, we're going to be looking at Weapons Master, Ruthless, Rampage, and Superstition. So, we're going to go into a normal rift, which is crazy seeing all these like rares on here. This is all my, uh, my actual <laughs> geared whirlwind gear. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a normal Nephilim rift, and we're just going to like go through the thing and we're gonna show you how it's done now it's gonna take a little work I'm telling you they're not gonna go down like you're used to if you've been playing you know bar for a long time but this is the the point of this build is to really kind of just get you started you should only really have to use this build long enough to get your four piece set bonus in season then you can actually start modifying it for you know if you get waste or whatever the case may be Rend is usually not used in high-end whirlwind builds because it's kind of garbage But at this low level, it's not that bad. I'm not even gonna try on that goblin over there Because we won't get him down There's a uh, kind of a resource issue here, but it's you know negatable because you're really just trying to hit stuff as much as possible Wrenching smash and all that stuff is gonna help pull in don't try to stay away from just like single target. You're gonna have a little bit of trouble with the Rift Guardian if there's not ads around. This is, you know, more or less just gonna be a Nephilim Rift kind of build because you're gonna want to like kite the Rift Guardian into some trash in order to really get your fury up. So get this, like this. You just wrenching smash coming in. Use Ren, use Threatening Shout, Battle Rage, all that stuff, and just spin, spin, spin. Let's see. Torment 1, it's good for Torment 1 to get you out the door, right? That's all that matters. All that matters. Try to use all your stuff on cooldown, keep rend up, all that good stuff. You're always going to be kind of low on Fury. It's occasionally you'll go up all the way, but you know, try not to whirlwind in between packs because you're just going to waste a lot of your resources. You can get away with that on, you know, actual in-game builds where they're highly specialized for that, but not when we're rolling with the worst gear in the game, right? We're just trying to get the job done. Like here, even these champion packs, they're going to go down. You don't really have a whole lot of survivability issues to worry about, you know, as long as you keep spinning. You don't want to just stop and stand in any of fixes. Yeah, in, but, you know, with that being said, you do kind of want to, like, get some resist all on your gear. Probably on, like, pants and belt and stuff like that. But yeah, not a big deal here. It's a little slow going, but if you want to play Whirlwind, you know, start practicing. If you're new to it, this is a good, uh, a good testing ground for it. Movement speed is a little slower, so you don't get a headache as bad. Not a big deal. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. And once you get your set bonuses and everything, then everything will, your damage is just going to go through the roof. Right, upgrade your gems, and you know, start using the uh, the mystic, and you know, re-roll some of the gear, some of the stats on your gear to better suit what Whirlwind wants. Get crit damage, crit, crit chance. Uh, if you're using uh, Wrath of the Berserker, you know, get some CDR so you can keep keep that up a little bit longer. All that kind of stuff. And then obviously, you know, a lot of your damage in late game Whirlwind is going to come from legendary gems like Taegook or you know, whatever the case may be. The very first gem that always drops is going to be Band of the Powerful. So what you want to do is, the second you complete the first Greater Rift, and you get that Band of the Powerful, 
put it in a ring and start leveling that thing up because once you kill a, a lead pack it's gonna up your damage for the next one so and that's a modifier too it's like a 15 that 15 percent damage on band's power poles pretty good all right all right as you can see you can probably get the idea here so but yeah that's pretty much it you know and not much else to explain here I hope this video helped you. If you like Diablo content or Blizzard content in general, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button to see more. And let me know in the comments, you know, what you want to see next on the channel. I like to do a lot of build guides. I like to do how-to guides for Diablo as well, let's plays, and everything like that. So, and I'm always looking for new ideas. And also, I'm getting ready to go right back into the live streaming as well. I really want to know what the community thinks. I want to get some feedback from you guys. And just kind of see what you want to know about. So... With that being said, I'm going to finish this rift and go farm some more, and I'll see you guys later.